Oh, the smell of lemon. It's good. Welcome, welcome back to Joel in the Kitchen. If you're new here, welcome. Remember, you can always subscribe and become a part of this growing, beautiful community. And for my returning supporters, welcome. I'm so happy you're here and I hope you're all doing fine. So today, we'll be cooking pan-seared salmon with brown lemon sauce. And I have one in two sides that I'm gonna go with it. So guys, come over and let's get started. So here I have five, a little over five pounds of salmon, cut in like about 10 pieces. I have some butter here, some garlic and onion powder, some lemon, lemon slices and parsley, chopped parsley, some lemon zest, some lemon juice, still juicing, and I have salt and black pepper. So. You use whatever salt you have in your cover. This is the salt I have right now, so that's why I'm using that salt. You could use whatever salt you want to use. So this is a fast cooking dish, very easy to cook. So we add salt to the garlic powder and onion powder. I'm gonna add some black pepper to it, and I'm just gonna mix it all together. All together, and then we're gonna season. Season this. Summer. So guys, now that Mother's Day is around the corner, this would make the perfect dish. Why don't you try it and let us know. Well, inside and out, because I want the salmon to taste good, both the in and the outside. Salmon is really uh, delicate kind of fish, it doesn't need a lot, and it's nice and fresh, it doesn't need a lot of stuff. It's an elegant dish. And we're gonna lay it here. Good and nice, put in all that seasoning. See how lovely it looks? Put in all that seasoning. Very nice. See? Salmon is clean, washed, and dry. Remember, dry the salmon nice with paper towel because you don't want to leave any water in it. You want to get all the water out if you have to rinse it. Salmon. You rinse it delicate. Delicately, right? So we're going to be serving some salmon up in your kitchen. Alright, so we're going to set this aside. So we're going to juice some more lemon juice. We're going to try to get like about 12 tablespoons or a little bit more of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. So if you don't have fresh lemon juice, you can use whatever lemon juice you have, okay? But since I, I wanted fresh lemon juice, so and for the decoration so we just get some if you don't have that don't make that stop you from making your summer trying to get out all of this juice because this is what we're going to be making your sauce the lemon juice if i need 12 like about 12 tablespoons so if we didn't get 12 I have more lemon, so I'll juice more lemon if I measure with more than less than 12. Okay, we set this over here. So, in the meanwhile, my fish is seasoned and down. I am going to prepare a few little sides that I want to have with my fish. So, I have this butternut squash, wash and dice. I'm going to put it in the oven to cook. So, I'm going to, my oven is preheat. I'm just going to season up with just salt and black pepper. and some olive oil. Butternut scratch can stay forever because I bought this like about 
three no like about four weeks now and it's still good nice and firm and butternut scotch is really good it's healthy and it's nice it's a good combination to have with your salmon so i'm gonna add this nice with salt and i'm gonna add it to enough salt is there you see i taste it as i said you should always taste your meal so this is gonna be good it's not salt and pepper and i'm gonna add it in the oven it has the oil on it it's good add a little bit more be a little bit more generous with your on the bowl, put it in the oven to bake at 375 degrees. It's going to be quick too while I prepare my sauce. So my oil, my butter is in the pot and I'm waiting for it to heat up in my favorite fish pot. Nice. It's durable, it's strong, but you know what? I miss one of its hangers. Mm have to find myself a good one. Any recommendation? Okay, so the oil is ready, starting to get brown, and we're gonna put our fish in. Make sure it's hot. See, nice, it's getting hot there, and it's getting brown, it's ready for the fish. We're gonna put them in face down. We're gonna keep the integrity of the skin because I like it. You put it first, sometimes you end up losing it. Okay. Right? I'm gonna put another piece in. Let it brown like for three to four minutes on each side. On hot heat. So guys, four minutes passed and we're gonna turn, turn over the fish over on the other side. Look at it, smell really good in here. And guys, don't overcrowd your frying pan. You want enough space to turn your fish. And look how beautiful, the beautiful color. Very nice color, smell really good. Oh my God, I can't wait to put my teeth into this. Oh, it's gonna be a great meal. So let's stay for another five minutes. So now, look how beautiful this color is. Nice, seared salmon. So now we're gonna put some lemon zest, sprinkle over your lemon zest, over your fish, and it's already smelling good. Three teaspoons because I have a lot of fish, I have more, we're just gonna make enough salt. We're gonna put some lemon juice into this buttery. Oh, the smell of lemon, it's good. Now we're gonna take the sauce and sprinkle all over that fish. So let everything steep into the fish, and nice smelling, guys. You wanna be here, it's nice with all that flavor, lemony flavor, really nice. Brown, butter, sauce. Give it a little boil. We're gonna transfer it to our serving plate. Let's give it a little time here, and it's beautiful. Nice butter squash is finished and it's nice. We're gonna be having some. We at Jill in the Kitchen would like to take the time out to wish all the lovely mothers out there a happy Mother's Day when it comes. Do have yourself a fantabulous one. You rock!
So I'm here with my plate. The first plate is for me because we have to test our food before we hand it out. So I'm going to take my first bite. And as I said, I can't wait to have my teeth into this. Guys, this was cooked with love with you in mind. And what's happening here? I'm going to take a bite and look. I have green beans and I have my squash and everything smell good and looking beautiful here. The squash complements the, um, the salmon and the beautiful color. So let me take my first bite. Mm. Wow. This is so good. Honestly guys, I feel like I'm in a fancy restaurant having a meal. It doesn't feel like I'm in Joe's kitchen. It feels like I'm in one of those fancy restaurants. And it feels good and it tastes so good. All I need is a glass of white wine and some nice music. Romantic music. So guys, please try this dish. Try my, my salmon recipe. And if you love it, remember, leave me a comment. And as always, remember to cook with love. Stay healthy and I will be seeing you in my next video. Bye! Thanks for watching.